Writing this video has brought me illness. I've restarted this video like four times over the past two weeks trying to figure out the right way to say this, and now I'm sick. I'm actually sick. Elden Ring has a problem with NPCs. They just disappear. Like, you just talk to them, and then reload the area, and then they're just gone. And if you don't bump into them at their next location by pure luck, then you're just out of luck. I first noticed this problem with Nefeli when she moves from the Albanoric village back to Round Table Hold. But not her usual spot at Round Table Hold. She's downstairs where there's nothing but a few items which I've already picked up, so why would I ever go back down there again? Like, there is no reason for me to ever go back down there, so that's where she is, and I have to go back down there to see her where she is, but I have, would have no reason to ever go back down there, so why? So like, halfway through the game, I wound up just looking it up because I have to give her this poison. I mean, potion? And this world map is like actually the size of New Jersey. So I looked it up and she's downstairs, but like, why would I ever need to go back down there? I'm never gonna go back down there again, but that's where she is. But why is she there? There's just a couple of items that I've already picked up. So why is she already there? Like there's no reason for her. My problems with brother Corhan are layered, like a layer cake with two layers. I have two problems with brother Corhan. Number one, he says he's going to leave round table hold and see gold mask. Okay. Fine. My issue here is that instead of going right to Gold Mask, he gets lost and winds up at the little map kiosk thing for Altus Plateau. Now, in case you've never played Elden Ring before, there's something important to know here. When you first enter a new area, the only thing that is marked on your map in that new area is where to pick up the map that fully reveals the map for that area. So if you go to Altus Plateau, Find the little map in the little map kiosk, and then return back to the round table hold and learn that Brother Corhin is leaving in search for Gold Mask. Congratulations, you will never see Brother Corhin again for the entire rest of the game. There is no reason to ever return to the map kiosk once you've collected the map. In fact, it's no longer even marked on your map because that wouldn't make any sense and it wouldn't be useful in any way. <laughs> The only way you will ever see Brother Corhin again is if you go to wikipedia.edu forward slash where the fuck is Brother Corhin and see that they threw this little knucklehead right by the map kiosk that you have no reason to ever go to again. My other issue with Brother Corhin is much more straightforward. Brother Corhin is a liar. He says Gold Mask must be further along the path, closer to the Erd Tree, when in reality, Gold Mask is further from the Erd Tree. Please see these precise measurements I've made which clearly demonstrate this fact. <laughs> I literally can't even talk about this one for too long because it's so stupid, so this is gonna be short. This little idiot is in round table hold in the beginning of the game, and he asks you to search for his servant, Lanya. Okay, fine. What does she look like? Where does she live? What's her last name? Do you have any idea how I could possibly identify this person other than her first name? Nothing. He gives you nothing. And then he disappears. I didn't even know this guy's name. Two thirds of the way through the game, I had a faint memory of his existence, and I had to Google "guy at round table hold lost his servant." And thankfully, Google knew who I was talking about, probably because literally a million other people Googled the same thing. This is truly the most annoying game of hide and seek in the entire world. Volcano Manor, an area filled with lava, secret passages, ruins. Long boys, a giant sexy mommy chasing you through the hallways. Oh wait, no, not that last one. But anyway, Raya, after taking a long whiff of her own amniotic sac, goes missing. If I were to smell my own amniotic sac, I would probably go missing too. It's probably a pretty traumatic experience. But at this point in the game, after getting ghosted by Nefeli, Corhin, Dialos, Millicent, who's just standing in the middle of some fucking field in Altus Plateau pissing me off, I'm looking this up right away. I'm immediately popping off to wikipedia.gov backslash where in the lands between these nuts is Raya hiding. And I'm glad I did because she's hiding in some random secret room that I had already explored. So again, why would I ever go back there? I get why they did this. Like, I don't want 50 little quest trackers on my map constantly reminding me of NPCs who asked me to, I don't know, pick up destined death itself or like unleash this plague upon the world. Like, all right, I'll get to it when I get to it, okay? Jeez. But with the world this unbelievably massive, 
If you don't work in even a couple little tiny hints into the writing, then so many people are going to miss really interesting parts of your game just because they weren't in the right place at the right time. And that feels a little bit too vague and obtuse, even for FromSoft. But that's it though, if you're still with me, and you find that you have a lot of pent up rage right now, try taking out your anger by just randomly clicking on the screen in a bunch of different places like especially right here, and especially right here too! But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.